In today's video, I'm going to do treatment for Joe and Mandible. This person is MMA fighter and he told me he got a punch and his mandible got fracture. So no wonder there is trauma around mandible. Let's check movement of mouth. Open mouth. This is how much he can go. I want more movement for mouth. Close. Open. Yep, this is before treatment. So let's see what happens after treatment. Yes, his left side needs some treatment. Yeah, this is where he got fracture. Uh, I check tension of ligament around temporomandibular joint. Yes, ligament got some tension. Nice reaction. Good reaction of ligament. It's unwinding. Again, ligament around temporomandibular joint. I forgot to check movement of cervical spines, but when mandible moves good, cervical spine moves good. So, in his case, I forgot to check cervical movement, but that should feel good after treatment of mandible and temporomandibular joint. This is not much right here. I am releasing temporal bone. Temporal bone is part of jaw. That's why right, that's temporal mandibular joint. He broke mandible. No doubt that his temporal bone is affected. Nice. Tension is good. Let's see what happens for movement. Open mouth. Good. Good improvement. Close. Open up. Yeah, he needs a little bit more treatment. Close right here. That's I now temporal mandibular joint dysfunction shows up. Because his range of motion was restricted. He gets better. Now temporal mandibular joint dysfunction shows up. The symptoms shows up. Nice. Open mouth. Good, much, much better movement and his kind of popping movement is better. Close, open, much better. Now right side needs some treatment. Nice, final check, open mouth. Ah, oh, great, great movement, cross. So as I said, dysfunction of temporal mandibular joint, mandible, temporal bone, affects movement of mouth, and the dysfunction of this complex affects cervical spine movement. He should feel better for cervical spine movement. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.